Hello, this is Hot Indonesia, where we amuse and inform viewers from New York to Amsterdam. I'm Dalton Tanaraka in Jakarta. Here is this week's HI Hot List. Final verdict. Did we do the right thing in executing eight drug convicts? Fatal flow, why we could be even higher on the list of the world's most deadly traffic countries. And bikini bust, an after-school celebration, shut down by authorities who apparently have little else to do. Um, my two co-hosts are ladies who I would want to be trapped on an island with. Oh. Um, Rahayu Saraswati. Even, even, even in bikini? <laughs> with or without. Sarah, don't okay. talk about moms to oh be that way, gosh. is a first-year parliament member, anti-human uh, trafficking activist and hip-hop dancer. I know I said that before. Why? We can, we, I, I moms to be can be sexy in a bikini. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeni Wahid is director of the Wahid Institute, second daughter of Indonesia's fourth president, and sushi lover. You like salmon sushi, right? Yes. Okay, I knew that. Sashimi as well. Hot top number one final verdict the shots rang out on a tiley island and eight people were dead all had been convicted of drug crimes ranging from mules to kingpins there had been international pleas to Indonesia's president to have mercy and spare their lives but Joko Widodo carried out the law you know two others on death row who had been scheduled to die with the others got temporary reprieves for legal issues you know we've discussed this death penalty thing to to death. I mean, I don't mean to make a pun on that, but I'm not sure if this latest round of protests is about the death penalty itself or countries simply doing their jobs in protecting their citizens. Um, because I didn't hear Australia asking for clemency for Zainal Abidin, who is the Indonesian who died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. I don't and think this is about the death penalty. The argument that was raised was quite similar that they had been, all of them had been rehabilitated because they spent 10 years in prison. Zainal spent 15 years in prison. So would have been more rehabilitated than. You, you know what I'm saying? It's a political uh, protecting your nationals. That's your job. You're, if you're the president of a country, you're going to go overseas and protect your citizens, whether or not they deserve to be or not. Well, I mean, it's the same thing as what in Indonesia. So this is the this is the issue, right? A lot of people say, well, if this is about the death penalty, then Indonesia has no um, weight in asking for clemency for our citizens that are on death row in other countries, yeah. like in the Middle East, yeah. you know, with uh, whether they're human trafficking victims or really just murderers of their masters. Yeah, there. and we've talked about the issue of the death penalty, and I know where you both stand. But let me ask you this: if the two Australians or the French national um, had been serial child molesting killers. Would their governments have put up a diplomatic fuss, such a, such a fuss? I don't think so. So I think it's a matter of maybe does the punishment fit the crime? I yeah. think it's about that. I, there's, I, we, we talked about this in, in our previous show with um, Angun one time on the death penalty, whether we agree on it or not. And it's true. I mean, in this conversation, especially with the uh, drug uh, dealers, supposedly, right? Because it's not about drug users. Here, it's you know very tough on people with certain amount of uh, drugs found on them. And um, a lot of people then, you know, the issue of death penalty is always going to be a huge issue everywhere around the world. In America, I know a lot of my friends are having huge arguments because, like, in one of the states, they're actually bringing back the death by gun. And that's what we're <laughs> doing here, and I'm already against the death penalty in the first place. But again, I agree with you, Dalton, that is this about human rights? Because if it's about human rights, then shouldn't we just abolish the death yeah, penalty? Yeah, maybe there in, should in be the a global place? ban on the death penalty. I mean, I don't you know, know how you enforce that. I, I would be for that. But, you know, in the U.S., as you said, mm -hmm. China executes thousands of people every year. Japan does. Do we put up protests Singapore because as well? Yeah, would we cut ties with well, Canada? Most, most Asian countries. Would we recall Singapore. our ambassadors? Would we threaten to boycott? You know, visiting there? No, we don't. Yeah, it, it's yeah. when it comes to drag the drugs. I mean, the issues even more of uh, far larger than that. I mean, uh, in, in Indonesia, at least. I mean, we don't differentiate between drug uh, drug smugglers and drug users. And that is also is actually a much much bigger issues because then you've got uh, if you don't if you treat drug users as a criminal act, then you know you send them to jails and you don't have any effort for to rehabilitate them. Then you know if they're desperate, if they're still uh, addicted, they will find a way to find drugs. Yeah, and so so what, what happens is that uh, they use they use used needles and uh, and uh, you know all sorts of uh, dangerous things, dangerous actions, just to satisfy their hungers. 
So it's, it's one of the dangers and also creating a new cycle or, or a new breed of dealers once they're out of prison because yeah. they hang out with all these dealers. They know that where the source is. They deal from within the prisons a lot of times. Yeah. Time. Okay. yeah. And a lot of people actually argue, I mean, is this just, you know, kind of like the president of Indonesia sending a message to the, to the Indonesian people or to the international mass that we do not give clemency when it comes to drugs? Uh, I mean, but the, again, again, when we're talking about, well, first of all, death penalty, are you for or against? And then when you are for, are you for for all, uh, for all crimes or go. are you for mm -hmm. it just for, uh, you know, pedophiles? Are you for uh, child molesters are, or, or you, you can't does it go? You can't be that way. Well, it, it's it's yeah. difficult you're if you're for or you're against. For or against. Yeah, it it, exactly. Well, okay. So speaking, you know. speaking of the president, Joko Widodo was kind of in a no-win situation politically because even if he personally doesn't support capital punishment, he would look like he was bowing to foreign pressure mm -hmm. yeah. um, if he spared the prisoners' lives. And we wouldn't, uh, you know, as Indonesian residents, you don't want your president to look weak. Um, and it's, sorry, Dalton, but it's, it's, I have to say, it's a bit shocking about how a lot of some presidents from, you know, the foreign countries are react, not not that it's shocking that they're reacting in a certain way, but that they're even threatening, you know, the relations, international relations, It's just diplomatic talk. You think Australia is going to cut ties with us? Well, we even the France, same thing, though. even we France. We do the same thing, right? Like, uh, what was... Uh, more about held, before. having a moratorium for the yes. Middle East and all that. For with, the with foreign And also, if, if he tried to, I mean, he's showing that he's a tough leader, right? And he doesn't bow, but then he shows, it, it looks like he's heartless, too. So that's that, that's a no-win situation he was in. Again, what? death penalty. The other thing is that most people here in Indonesia actually support uh, death penalty. I yeah. mean, there's no uh, really uh, there. There had been uh, in the issue of the case of Mary Jane. Uh, there had been some strong resistance against uh, her execution because she was a mule. Was a suspect, yeah. Yeah, and she a, was maybe a victim. Yeah, suspicion, and yeah, that's yeah, why they gave the problem. last minute reprieve. Mm -hmm. Okay, last point. If this is all about, if this is about the death penalty, and I don't, I, I think we argued against it, then the proper forum, I think, is where Sarah goes to work every day. Um, Governments, uh, the uh, stakeholders got a lobby parliament to discuss mm -hmm. a ban. It's it's about the penalties um, and not argue when it's too late. And, and, but here's the thing: what I want to send out to everybody right now, we're actually uh, not in my commission, but in the third commission, which is about uh, the law. They're actually discussing a revision to the um, law in place on, um, especially the pidana, um, a crime, criminal crim a criminal general acts, crime. Uh, the general crime. So mm -hmm. uh, so. That's one of the things that could come into play right there, and I would, I would encourage uh, you know the the citizens and and our people of Indonesia, wherever you are, you know, here in Indonesia or abroad, to voice your concerns, and that's where it could actually be discussed. And, and even international governments could lobby. I mean, that's that's Absolutely. part of their job. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So that's don't let it be like, oh, now we're we're heading towards. The that's, minutes off. The that's before. where you do it. Yeah. Okay. Hot Endo will continue shortly. Why we could be even higher on a global list that no one wants to be on. You're watching Hot Indonesia with Yeni, Sarah, and me. Here's hot topic number two, fatal flow. Just about every survey says Jakarta has among, if not the worst traffic congestion in the world. The latest list, even more sobering, a national police official said Indonesia had the world's fifth highest total of traffic deaths last year at 28,000. That's 76 people a day. Ahead of us on the list, China, India, Afghanistan, and Nigeria. You know, obviously one simple factor in this is that Population size means more accidents occur. China and India, two biggest countries. Mm -hmm. I did some research. Uh, United States, number three, third biggest country. I mean, they should be on this list because they had mm -hmm. 32,000 traffic deaths in 2030. So I think maybe the, the police guy was talking about Asia. Yeah, maybe Asia or, or Asia developing worlds. I don't know because the United States had 32,000. Oh, okay. So they, they had more yeah. in terms of numbers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, but the point is we have. So large, are they talking about percentage, share. do you think? No, they're just talking no. total number. Okay. If total it's number. By, by per capita, that's a different thing. Then maybe, yes, you're right. Maybe mm -hmm. it is Asia. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, then, then that's different. The then statistic different. says that in 2010 alone, there was like more than a million deaths caused by traffic accidents. Globally? No, no, just in Indonesia. Well, that, that, that can't be. Yeah, well, it's just another statistic that's uh, out there. A million people die? I don't think so. It's just one year. 
I think maybe traffic accidents. Traffic because, accidents, yeah, yes, okay. traffic accidents. Fatalities is a, that, that would be a, 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 a incredible. Oh, okay. The, yes. the average getting, has been 25 to yes, 30,000 deaths. Fatalities instead of deaths. Fatalities. You're talking yes. about traffic okay. accidents, yes. Yes. resulting. Okay. Traffic really? accidents. That would be scary. Yes. You know, oh, I, I'll, I'm I'll trying to keep up with my pregnancy brains here, yeah. keeping up. The, the <laughs> factors involved besides most population obviously are um, disregard of safety laws. Mm -hmm. People don't wear their helmets or their seat belts in the cars. Yeah. Um, well, uh, surprisingly here, the most cause of the accidents, the accidents that happen most, is, uh, happens for, uh, for motorcycle, for motorcyclists. Yeah. Oh, so there's a lot of motorcycles. about 36% of traffic accidents. And that makes and sense. Then, and then bus driver, uh, bu uh, bus passengers, and then pedestrians. So car accidents only like uh, less than 5%. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, actually, I was actually going to mention my experience of you know driving or being driven abroad, but then you mentioned maybe it's Asia, so I was going to say something like Italy, where literally they're like crazy drivers. Or in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, oh my goodness. Really? Fast car, like, I mean, you've never seen the fast cars. Like, I mean, do you think it's because it's like Arabia. really straight, as in long roads, yes, stretches long of road, road make it be that. Road, the yeah. Autobahn, yeah. Germany. Big cars. And okay, yeah. besides the safety factors, um, the other factors involving accidents and, and sadly deaths are, are you ignore traffic laws, that's, mm -hmm. that's human error. And, and, and driver recklessness. Some people yes. think they are on the racetrack. Yes. And that's, that's pit limits. But yes. on the other side as well, I don't know if this plays again into just Asia, but I know in the certain countries that have maybe lower, or maybe not lower, but just a better situation on the roads, would be the how difficult it is to get the um, sim. Driver's license in the first place. Here Whereas it's easy. Here, in Singapore, <laughs> how much does it cost? <laughs> here you, you. You don't even have you, to drive. I know. Yeah. That's, be able that's to drive. a sad part. You know, it's, it's, really yeah. it's really sad. It's really sad. It's actually, it, it's actually can, a serious issue. You can buy, issue. You can buy a fake yeah. traffic yeah. It's uh, a driver's issue. license. Yeah, be, because actually, I was taking the test, and I tell you, it's impossible to re, to finish it within the a lot of time. Don't tell me that you. To be not honest. You didn't buy it. I didn't want to. I was taking it seriously, but my guy suddenly said, no, 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 you, what, it's what? just formality. I'm like, what? I was so angry that, like, you know, the person who was helping did me. Did you get your license? I, I did, I did. Le legally? Legally. It's supposed to be legally, and yet, you know, again, the conversation, I don't know now whether they actually really did a tally well, on I my guess I got my license when I was still in uh, university. <laughs> well, I was uh, an undergrad, yeah. and I, I didn't even know how to drive it. <laughs> so, but they advertised that on the campus. Oh. It's like a, but yeah, you didn't, a big you, banner. You, you didn't so, cause any accidents, did you? Yeah? Well, I never drive. <laughs> anyway, so, so why do I you need a license? Uh, 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 why do you need a license? Because all my all my friends were getting the license. Okay, plus you need ID when you go into the clubs <laughs> that don't let you in with ID. You know, you know what's really bad though in America when I was driving? I, I never got an, into an accident with another car while I was on the road. It's always like a, a cone or something that's on the road. Oh, so you like the inanimate object. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. As long as you don't get hurt. my own car, okay. you know. You know, I, I, as, I, I contend that um, we are fortunate that our number on the list isn't even higher because I, I I always say that it amazes me every day when you're in traffic how things flow and how it's like water because we should be a lot worse. But, but, we yeah, but drivers something. here are. No, are, no you know why? Well, because of the traffic and how slow everything's well, going. But that people could adjust. Also people, help lead, in you know, it's, it's, people are flexible here and they don't have the road rage that the other countries do. Thankfully. Oh, yeah, the, but well, you know, when you look at the, the how motor, some, some motorcyclists drive, it's just crazy the way yes. they drive. True. Yeah, it's just like but, yes. Uh, it works. It, it they have to. You know, it it works better than we, I think it should. I don't even <laughs> cycle anymore because I, I'm I'm too scared of yeah. going out of the house yes. and, what is, and, and yes. on my bike. Actually, this because there's no lane for yeah. bikes, bicycle lane, and then right. There's no bicycle lane. That's something. I think I think what'll make a major difference is when light rail comes online in a couple years. That'll make a major difference in in, in the fatalities, the traffic, and just the general. Hopefully, no, no, I think we're talking about in Jakarta. If, in yeah. if the yeah. law is not in, being in, imposed, if no, if if you know people. Uh, uh, go against you know speeding limits and all that, and still not being punished by the police. Still yeah. no law enforcement. Law enforcement. Law enforcement. Of then, yeah. yeah. But I, I'm just saying not about light change. rail. Bangkok was worse than Jakarta ten years ago when light rail came in. It, it solved a lot of problems. Oh so, yes, yes. So. I've heard I, I'm that hopeful. As well. Okay. More hopeful, hot indo is ahead. Why bikinis shut down an after school event?
You're watching Hot Indonesia from Jakarta, hot topic number three, bikini bust. A party called Splash After Class was promoted on social media. Organizers say it was aimed at students who had finished final exams and who were over 18 years old. Okay, relieve a little stress, no problem to me, but what caught the eyes of parents and school officials was the suggested dress code, which was bikini summer dress, dress and this promotional video you're watching that included young people drinking and some semi-nude. The event was canceled. When I say semi-nude, I mean we saw a little bit of it, but it, you know, women like without their tops and holding themselves like this. That, yeah, I would, I, I would object a little bit. I guess so. Um, maybe maybe we should have been in the promotional yeah. video, then they wouldn't be thinking of it as being too sexy. Also on the video, organizers <laughs> had listed at the end schools that supposedly uh, supported the event, which all said that they didn't. And one reported the company to the police. You know, I think maybe an overreaction to this kind of thing, because it's happened before. Just that the video kind of brought it to their attention. Um, the promoters went too far, I think, in their images to try to attract people to their party. Um, Okay, first of all, the question would be, again, I, I didn't get a chance to really go too deep into this because I've been dealing with a lot of the problems. Oh, you were there, issue. so you didn't, you, yeah, why, why? <laughs> no, but the you question the is... You the topless. <laughs> Ooh, huh? yes, mom yeah. to be. <laughs> Come to we be baby to, and you we, mean your baby, We need baby, to yeah. be more proud of our baby bumps, okay. No, but... Hey, be, yeah, women it's proud natural, of their bodies. Okay. It's natural, okay. we need to be proud of back it. Back to the but point. Back to the point is uh, the question would be, the promoters, uh, are, are they, again, the organizers, are they from the kids? Right? Or is it actually from event organizers? It's a profe event professional, event professional event organizer, of course. They're organizer. trying to make money. Right. So, so and that's not a bad thing. I mean, it's business. It, it yes, I suppose. You know, but you know what I was actually upset about, along with you know some some women, where we were saying like. You know, if this were just like pictures of men topless and all that, it wouldn't be too much of a men too much. Topless. Yes. Uh, like I think just wearing shirtless. swimming trunks, shirtless. Yeah. shirtless. Okay, that's, trunks, that's a different uh, way to put it. Party. It's the same topless no, shirtless. No, well, I think the word bikini was a red flag in this. It, you know, see, and, and, exactly. It's all it's a gender it's, bias thing. What's interesting is that the first uh, first people or a group who raised the issues actually the child protection agency <laughs> but see because they were thinking kids the, are going to be but this is for over 18 there. so that was that was okay didn't okay. it was wrong I think, uh, you wrong know, the image that people um, had of the party was like of, of, of you know bikinis and booze and you know, yeah. lose morality well, and what's right. whatever. You the know, concern yeah. among moderate, and the concern sex. among moderate citizens <laughs> yeah, in this country like that. us I think we're moderate that, that authorities are trying to be moral police and, mm -hmm. and we don't need more of that. I mean, if it's it's harmless it's, and they're it's just- It's the parents who should It's a be pool saying. party, it's a and pool party. What do you wear at a pool party? Bikinis. Well, now we are- I don't. Now, well- Dalton, this is the <laughs> tankini, tankini, you know. The uh, chankini? No, no, oh. tankini. Oh, tankini. Oh, no, tankini no, no. and also the burka kini. Yeah, burka kini, so. I was gonna say. Hey, burka <laughs> kini is all in now. I'm sure they would have welcomed them. Tankini is the, it's like not a bikini, but it's one costume, so it's a That could be even sexier to me. They could have, That could be even sexier. One piece sometimes is, to me, Oh, now ladies, you know how to get to Dalton's heart. Yeah. One piece. My heart? Um, <laughs> no tankini, tankini yeah. bro. Okay, yeah. at water parks and in Bali, of course, there are bikinis everywhere in this country. So we're not fooling anybody that we don't have bikinis. Uh, so because, you know, I think because bikinis. Why are being so hypocritical bikinis, about this? Bikinis being put in the same sense as school kids. kids. School kids. But these yes. are adults. They're not kids. That's no. The, but that's the thing. But it's like, how do you check? Still, you, you know, know the connotations of kids you know. and you so know, their, their advertising is wrong because if it's supposed is, to be 18 and over. They should have just gone. Yeah. They just should have gone like pool party. Yeah. And that's it. Without you, without dress code, bikini, whatever. People get it no, when no. it's a pool party. You know they wear whatever yeah. they want yes. to wear to the pool. They have, whether it's with a T-shirt and we saw the video. So or obviously, bikini. they had the party before or in previous years. Mm. That's where they got the video. But I think they got the schools on the video, the list, and that's where they got in trouble. Yeah, they tried maybe to they tried to, to be more kinky, you know, like schoolgirls in in uniforms. They, and, I, no, they, they were. were <laughs> if they want to bring in, in like you know, like girls then. gone wild, like from America, like that, they they it was a little like. Yeah, yeah, yeah this ain't like the place to do that, but, but guys. But just to be clear, to people watching outside of this yeah. country, we have swimsuits, we have pools, we have bikinis. That's not a yes, for, although, it's although not yes, forbidden. in some bikinis, areas bikinis, they're still bikinis, kind of frowned on. Yeah, of course, <laughs> whatever yeah. you know, all the range from head to toe. They're not planning covered. to have this event in Aceh, for one thing. Okay, um, um, feed, yeah. <laughs> feedback time. No, no. You've heard from us. Now we want to hear from you. 
Um, Ski sent this email, show needs to be longer. Well, we could go on forever, and sometimes we do, Ski, but it's good that we leave you wanting more. If you have any feedback on what you've heard or would like to suggest a topic for us to handle, please email us at hotindo at theindonesiachannel.com or comment. Please, through our Indonesia channel, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram pages. I got to get Instagram. Final words, Yeni. I just want to say thank you uh, to all, everyone who's made the Statue of Young Gustur possible. That includes Dalton, Sarah's father, and many others who have contributed to the effort. And hopefully that the statue will, uh, will serve as a inspiration. inspiration for young kids to grow up to be a person who's well read, brave, and also tolerant-minded. Yep, oh, yep, like yep. And oh, maybe yeah. someday we'll have statues of Yenny or Sarah. And final words, and sorry, we miss you at the in event. Yenny's. Yeah, in the truth. Final or words, yes. miss Sarah. When, when we're three year old, anyway. <laughs> so my, my final words, well, in the past few months, certainly, going through this process of being a new mom-to-be, it has been quite eye-opening. Uh, first of all, experiencing pregnancy brain, something that I mentioned earlier on the show. Uh, it is a real thing, especially with um, the fathers to be out there. You need to be very... Um, Tolerant? Tolerant, yes. Tolerant that sometimes we're going to forget what we were going to say, you know, forget our, forgetting our keys, whereas maybe before that wasn't happening. And um, of course, getting really tired, the fatigue, it's all a real thing. And and the challenge nowadays, especially with the issue of gender equality in, in, in countries all over the world, is we're not asking for privilege, but I think that it's something that we need to discuss further to ensure that the future of our generations are well taken care of. And, and it might mean giving um, higher tolerance for women who are career oriented, but also future moms. And it means you cannot be 100% wife, 100% mom, and 100% uh, career woman. She's addressing this to one particular person. No, 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 no. I'm addressing it to the whole country. Hobby. Don't, don't yeah. forget yeah. to mention no, the flatulence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that would be her. That would be her. I uh, didn't see uh, fart. Yeah. Okay. baby. I said fart on the air. Okay. Yeah, well, my her, dear, I, I bow down to you. No, I, actually, I bow down to all women who, who can have poop. Well, all women can conceive. But. Did you just say all women who can have poop? No, I said who can conceive. Okay. And I, I, I wish I could be pregnant. Or I used to wish that. Not being yeah. able to conceive. All right. Because like like Arnold. Well. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let me finish now. My final words here, you know, there are many kinds of loyalty. Loyalty to a cause, loyalty to a person, loyalty to a company, loyalty to a country. Whatever the reason, honor and appreciate that devotion because in my opinion, there's not enough of it in the world today. Mm. And that is Hot Indonesia for Sarah Nyeni. I'm Dalton Tanaraka. See you next time.